Hi folks, in this video we are going to give you a brief overview of the flight management system that comes with our 146 Professional at Microsoft Flight Simulator. The real 146 never had an option to be fitted with an FMS directly from the manufacturer, so the main means of navigation was using the traditional techniques such as VOR, DME and NDB. These techniques we have already covered in depth in our previous tutorial videos on our channel. However, over the years, some 146s have been retrofitted with various different types of FMS and GPS units. The sheer number of FMS and GPS options available means there isn't one right or wrong answer as to what FMS is accurate to the 146. So to give users as many options as we can, we have chosen to include the Rockwell Collins ProLine 21 as the FMS that will be included in the release of our 146 Professional for Microsoft Flight Simulator. The unit will be based on the popular unit developed by Work and Title and has been modified for sustainability with the 146's avionics and autopilot. This means our 146 Professional for Microsoft Flight Simulator provides full LNAV functionality, SID and STAR, Holden, Microsoft Flight Simulator and Simbrief Flight Plan Support and Navigraph integration. As with all of our products in Microsoft Flight Simulator, we will continue to introduce new features to our 146 over time, including adding different FMS and GPS options, such as the commonly fitted UNS-1, as well as even the GTN-750, which is used in some current firefighting aircraft, providing you with an even greater customizability for your aircraft. Moving on to the FMS itself in the simulator, we're firstly going to show you how to link your SimBrief account. If you press the index button, move to the next page and then click Mod Set. On this page you'll be able to link your SimBrief account. To link your account, simply enter your SimBrief Pilot ID and then click the soft key next to the SimBrief Pilot ID field. Your SimBrief account is now linked with the FMS. There are three different ways you can create a flight plan in the 146. You can either enter the flight plan manually on the FMS. You can create a flight plan in the Microsoft Flight Simulator main menu and import that into the FMS. Or you can create a flight plan in SimBrief and import that into the FMS. Start with the SimBrief option. If you firstly go to your browser and log into SimBrief and create your flight plan. Once a flight plan has been created, You'll need to generate an OFP and then go back into Microsoft Flight Simulator and on the FMS go to the index page again, then go to next page, root menu, and then you'll be able to automatically enter your flight plan into the FMS by pressing the flight plan recall sim brief button. If you were to create a flight plan in the Microsoft Flight Simulator main menu, you would instead click the flight plan recall game button. Both of these options will load the flight plan into the FMS. So now you need to check that you're happy that the flight plan has been entered correctly. If it has, you can then click the Execute button. The flight plan is now active in the FMS. With the flight plan active in the FMS, we now need to move up to the main panel and ensure that the HSI switch is set to the RNAV position. With the switch in the RNAV position, the aircraft will then follow the flight plan on the FMS whenever the LNAV autopilot mode is selected. From this point on, the FMS then acts as you would expect in any other aircraft. The direct page allows you to choose a waypoint to fly directly to. Flight plan and legs pages allows you to view and edit your flight plans. The departure and arrival page allows you to add SIDs and STARS to your route. And the index page allows you to view all sorts of information on the aircraft's current position, as well as being able to perform holds and request and receive weather reports. 